What's up, beautiful naturalistas? It's Kiana, aka Naturalista Beauty, coming at you today real quick. I'm gonna do a real quick makeup tutorial. It's something that I do that's super quick for when I'm getting ready to hit the road and go. So, kind of just do my hair up in a casual number, a little puff, um, not going anywhere too big, just kind of to a few stores or whatever. But um, I'm gonna show you what I do to get ready super quick. Okay. So my brows are already done. Come up a little closer so you can see them. Already done. And now I'm gonna just go ahead and start with my little concealer. I typically do like an all over concealer sort of number. So what I do before I actually get started is prime my face and I'm actually gonna use the Stay Matte Primer. Forgive me, it's a little dirty because I use it all the time. And if you're oily skin based like I am, then this works very good for your face. Rub it in. And that is my nephew in the background watching me put my makeup on because he likes to watch me film. <laughs> Might as well say hello, Trey. Hello. <laughs> All right. So now that I got that done, I'm gonna go ahead and put my concealer on. That feels nice. Why well, it has my skin feeling nice? Okay. And then I'm gonna use this LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is in the color Fawn. Basically my skin tone because I'm not really gonna do foundation like that today. Like I told you, I'm gonna keep it real simple today. And I'll just put it under my eye area. And you're probably gonna be like, Kiana, that's all you gonna put on there? Yes, ma'am. And it'll look like you got a full face of makeup, but it's super quick. So, all right. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just pat it in right there. You got to move a little bit quick with this because if you haven't used it before, it does dry pretty quickly. Why aren't you doing your head yet? Thank you. All right. There we go. And I do like to put a little bit on my eyes. So I'm gonna do that because when I get ready to put my little eyeshadow on, it's not, again, it's not gonna be a lot, but I do like to start with an even base and a blank canvas, if you will. So just a little bit there, and I can actually use my fingers for that to blend it in. And it's nice and smooth and to the point. Like so. So if I wanna add a little glow whenever I'm feeling like I wanna shine, especially with it being so dull outside, I go in and I use this Maybelline. It's a bronze BB cream. And it looks just like that. And I only put a little on, to be honest with you. So just a few little dabs, just like that. And with that, I literally just rub it in with my fingers. It's not, it's not that big of a deal. Only on my cheeks. All right. Yeah. Yep. Right there. And then what I'm gonna do is follow up behind that and just kind of set everything. And then this is gonna be my MAC um, Mineralized Skin Finish. And I'm using the color Dark Deep only because I like for it to give me a nice bronzing sort of feel. And I really, just kind of go all over with that. 
with my brush. And it's a nice size fluffy brush. Believe it or not, I got this from Marshalls, y'all. Nice, inexpensive brush. And I think this is the Eco, So Eco brush. that out the way what I'm gonna do is now I want to just take a nice little finishing powder and it kind of gives your face an added glow it has like some shimmer flakes in here some gold shimmer flakes and I love it and this is the sweet vision magic dust powder from Mac I believe this was in one of their holiday releases or something like that I'm so sorry I cannot remember but I'm gonna use this as a finisher and I'm gonna just put it all over my face a little lightly, real lightly, just like that. Yep. And it gives you just like a cute little added glow. And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and finish from there and put on my blush. And I keep it real simple. This is going to be a Maybelline blush. This is in Berry Amore, and this is the Baked Powder Blush. That's the color. And then I'm going to just smile and put it on my cheeks there. You're literally using the same brush as the other powder because it was so light. And there you go. Nice and glowy skin. I love it. So... Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Morphe 35O palette. Obviously, I'm sure everybody has seen this palette. So literally, this is what it looks like. And what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go in with, again, I'm keeping it nice and neutral. I'm going to go in with this brown color right here. It's a nice, even skin tone. Maybe just a tad bit darker than my skin tone. I'm going to go in with that all over the lid. And then I might put just a little bit of shimmer right here this gold and that's gonna be about it so I'm gonna take it I tap off access and then I literally just go right here and put it all over and if you don't have this palette it's a good palette if you love neutrals and things of that nature and like nice little seasonal colors that you can use and I'm not gonna do a lot literally that's all I need, you just blend it out really good just to give the eye some depth. And then I'm going to move on to the next. Mm -mm. Okay. Alright, it looks good. And just to kind of take a look at it, if you feel like you want to do a little bit more blending than you can. Until it's nice and even. Yeah. I love that. I like this palette, y'all. Mm. Okay, then again, like I said before, I'm going to take that gold color. And I'm going to line my lid. Just a little bit right across tap off the excess there real simple just like that see that bring it in closer just like that do the same to the other eye Okay, so that concludes that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on to my lips. Remember I told you, super simple. So today what I'm going to do is take the Holy Grail, and that is the MAC Chestnut Liner. 
And I'll go ahead and line my lips. Hopefully it doesn't scratch the hell out of my lips because I sure did not sharpen it. And that's exactly what it's doing, but we're gonna get through this look all the same. <laughs> Lord help me. <laughs> And I'm gonna go for a nice neutral tone today. Okay. And this is the Bare Minerals, and this is called OM. And this is the matte one. I think this is like their little matte cream lipsticks. And they feel really good, guys, if you haven't tried them. They do. Oh, I like this color. Okay, and then let it dry a little bit, and then I'm going to take my Maybelline, and I love this color, it's in Warm Latte, and this is what it looks like, kind of beat up, but obviously you see I wear it all the time, and I like to mix it because it gives like a nice shimmer of gold, and it looks so pretty on the lips when you apply it, so... I'm going to go ahead and add that. And then I'm going to go over it just a tad bit more with my lip liner. I'm going to chest nut again and finish it out. So it won't be such a stark color on my skin tone. And ladies, if you ever want to avoid starkness, it's best to get you a lip liner. And there you go. So I'm liking, I'm liking that nice and quick and to the point. right and i'm done okay fluff this up a little bit and i'm ready to hit the road ladies that's nice quick to the point um obviously it's makeup on my face but it's not so much that you like wow she got a pound of makeup on so it's nice quick simple whenever i want to do this and hit the road and have a nice little look to my skin this is what i do so without further ado i'm coming in so you can see the finished look All right, ladies, until next time.